Sheffield. Hello, Berkshires. Let's hear it for Jason, so well, and all the other comics that went up. This is great. He was going over my resume. I was like, that guy sounds good. Uh, that comedian. But that comedian is me. This lady's getting up. She's had enough. Thank you. Um, goodbye. Goodbye. I love this place. Uh, are we? Are, are people staying here, or what's going on? Are, you, are any of us guests at the hotel? Okay, awesome. I like you guys. No small talk. Let's move on. Came just for you. You came just. For, thank you so much, sir. You're lying, but thank you so much. You came. You really did. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Because your arms are crossed. That's a nice nonverbal fuck you. And uh, okay, now his now his hands are in his balls. But um, no, they're not. They're on your knee. They're on your knee. They're on your knee. I'm sorry, sir. He's like, no, they are not. This is turning into a town hall. Uh, I'm sorry. That's what this barn is all about. That's what this barn is all about. You, you're relaxed. I, li I like your whole thing. You're displaying to me your genitals and uh, you're telling me what's in the, on the buffet. And I really, <laughs> I appreciate that. But I love this place. I love this place. I've come here for like since uh, 2008, and uh, this is the first time I'm I'm getting paid. So uh, <laughs> the other way around. All right. So that was a joke for Casey. All right. So uh, who runs this place? Taking a drink of. Wine. Hang on. Mm. That's good. You guys should hit it up at the bar. I like you guys. It's like the most awkward date any of us have ever been on. Our parents set us up. We don't know how it's going to go. I've written for Larry Wilmore. I've written for Samantha B. I've and right now I'm writing for Sarah Jessica Parker. But you guys seem like the toughest customers. <laughs> Of all time. I know, it's, it's fascinating. I hope you get to like it. My friends will be throwing out great, but I'm laughing up there, and you're like, I don't know about that joke. I'm not sure. Can we laugh at that? But that's okay. That's okay. This is the weekend. This is, I believe it's Saturday. I don't know. In my business, I don't keep track of shit like that. But, um, but this is as good as it's going to get, so we might as well have a good time. Right? Right, guys? Let's do it. I'm so happy to be here. I love this place. And uh, it's just nice to be out of New York for a little while. You know, my shoulders have lowered, um, which, which is great. I, New York is fantastic if you guys, are, any of you are from there. But thank you. Yeah, good. Uh, I, it's just I, I haven't had one normal human interaction there. And, but then again, it's only been 15 years, so uh, it could happen. Th this is what? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll give you a, a funny anecdote, and you tell me. All right, so I was coming out of my therapist's office, and uh, this woman stops me in the middle of the crosswalk, and she goes, stop right there. Aren't you somebody? Just like that, right? Yeah, so I just walked right back into my therapist's office. <laughs> because that was the question I was trying to answer for the past hour. Am I somebody? I didn't know there'd be a hot pot quiz when I walked outside, you know? But New York is crazy like that. The other day, then uh, you, you never know what New Yorkers are into. Their tastes are all over the place. Like um, I, I know that New Yorkers are definitely into garbage and filth, uh, but they hate pretty things, right? So if New Yorkers su see two people in the street kissing, this is how they respond. Oh, disgusting, get in a room. They hate it. But if a bum poops in a mailbox, they're like, what are you gonna do? That's <laughs> poop in that, that's good, that's good. Nobody uses those things. It's hard talking to New Yorkers as well. I've been trying to talk to my neighbor for three years. It's a true story, three years. He, he looks exactly like me. I thought we could have like Urkely adventures together, you know? <laughs> but not the case. He's awkward. He's a kind of awkward where he infects you with his awkwardness. You know, these kind of people, they make it weird, you know? They just don't know how to talk to you, you know? Like I was uh, walking my dog the other day and he came up to me and he's like, hey, like that, right? And then I was infected. I go, hey, you know? And he looks at me, he looks at my dog, he looks at me, he looks at my dog, and I was like, he's going to mess this up. I know he's going to mess this up, and he does. This comes farting out of his mouth. He goes, but, but wasn't your dog a puppy? Wasn't my dog a puppy? Thank you. Have you ever talked to anyone, sir? You know, so I had to answer him in the most Williamsburg, Brooklyn way possible. I was like, well, he was a puppy, but now he identifies as full grown. So I'm embracing his journey. That was good, sir. That was a good joke. That was a funny joke. Thank you. Okay, I just want you to, okay, you're looking at me like a trained assassin. All right. I hear it's your birthday. Is it your birthday? Yeah, cats out of the bag, fucker. Congratulations, buddy. Have you had a good day? It's took the <laughs> Does nothing suit you, sir? All right. It is, it, those are the facts. Those are the facts. It's the facts. Tomorrow. Okay, it's tomorrow. What are you going to do for your big day?
You, you're like, I'm doing it! Celebrate, this is celebrate my, my dad's 90th birthday. Oh, that's amazing. This is where we clap, people. I mean, it, <laughs> we're, so, we're so nonchalant, like 90. I'll be making it to at least 180. <laughs> double, double, 90 years, that's amazing. Wow, what is he, is he mobile? Is he up and at him? <laughs> He's okay. He'll do in a pinch. For 90. For 90, yeah. I mean, shit. I mean, I'm 40, and I'm like, fuck. I'm doing great. I got all my hair. <laughs> That's all I care about. Mm. Well, cheers to him. That's awesome. Wait, so it's your, it's your father's 90th and your birthday, too? Yeah. You have a birthday on the same day? Okay, well, I mean, around the same time. I like you. You're like Amelia Bedelia. You're the most... <laughs> basically the same day. You're born on fucking the same weekend. Come on, man. Give me a break here. Work with me. Your brother... What's This is becoming like Reader's Digest. What's what's happening, your brother? Your brother was two days ago. What? What? You guys... Did your dad only have sex? And he's like, I, I can't only have it this day. That's it. Get in here, Marjorie. All right, so... I don't know your brother's name. All right, so um, don't get up, don't get up. All right, so <laughs> seem like a nice man though. Seem like a nice man. Uh, New York's a crazy town. It's weird. I I don't like New York attitude all that much because it backfires on people sometimes. I was in day drinking in this bar with my friend, and uh, these people in later hosen walked in. Right, they read it as later hosen is, and my friend goes, ah, only in New York. And I was like, yes, and Germany. So. <laughs> What are you talking about, you weirdo? <laughs> it's a tough town, and I'm gonna tell you, you don't know how tough it is until you, you, you gotta take the headphones out of your ears. You, you gotta really listen to the city. And uh, I, th there was a baby crying on a train. Baby, crying, wailing. Mother turns to the baby and goes, ugh, grow up. And <laughs> I was like, agreed. Uh, <laughs> what a moocher, you know? I don't know, maybe that baby was Benjamin Button. I have no idea what was going on with that baby. No idea at all. Um, but it, it, is, it is a great place. I do like New York. Uh, and for the New Yorkers that are in the audience, I can tell you this. I love when it rains. When it rains in New York, then we divide into two groups, right? Big umbrella people and little umbrella people. And you know who the hell you are, okay? <laughs> I'm a little umbrella person myself. I, I, uh, I like little umbrellas. Are there other people that carry around little umbrellas as opposed to large umbrellas? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good people. Good people. Little umbrella people, we are, we are, we are kind people. We, we don't we don't want to bump in anybody. Our, our spirit animal is the field mouse. Okay, that, that we don't want any trouble, right? And we, that's why we moved to New York. We don't want any trouble, right? So, what we do in New York City is we go, we physically try not to bump into anyone. We go to all like these these crazy extremes, right? We we take our umbrella, we raise our umbrella with people, we lower our umbrella side to side with the umbrella, right? Big umbrella people are a little bit different. You have what I call BUE, or big umbrella energy. And uh, what big, big umbrella people literally take beach umbrellas and then open them up in the rain. They're like, you know what? I need shade in this rain. Uh, and I've been close on by so many big umbrella people. When I get the side back in my good eye, I look up, and that umbrella always has the name of some bailed out bank printed on the side, you know? And I'm always like, we never should have given you assholes money. Right? But have you ever been into a golf umbrella? You're like, wow, this is how the 1% lives. Listen to the echo, Ella, Ella, hey, hey. It's a Rihanna song. All right, this crowd's not into Rihanna. Okay, uh, that's okay. Maybe I, I should have done James Taylor or something like that. Sorry. Should have done Jim Croce operator. All right. Um, why is there a dictionary up here? There's a dictionary. Okay, I don't. It's the New Century Dictionary. I mean, this place is so wonderful. They're like, you know what? You'll need is a dictionary up there in case he gets lost and wants to define osmosis. <laughs> Something like that. Some weird word. Oh my god, I opened up to slave or controversial. All right, <laughs> so, moving on. I, I swear, I like, moved. <sighs> How are we doing? Are we okay? Are we having fun? Good. I just want to know. I want to check in with the people. Are you okay, sir? You doing Movember thing? You got a beard? You are? <laughs> are we getting competitive? You just wait, asshole, okay? You're further into a glass of wine than I am? Uh, what? What a petty fucking thing to compete over, but I like it. I like, I like your style. I do. Hang on. 
Nobody drank up here. I was like, how are you doing this stone cold sober? This is crazy. Okay. <laughs> but I think, you know what? We do, we do live in divided times. And that is why I watch the Nature Channel. I want to know what we all have in common. Like, I was watching the Nature Channel the other day, and I learned that we have much better sex than the humpback whale. I feel you pulling away, but listen to me, okay? There was a British guy narrating, and I love when British people talk. Nature. Oh my God, isn't it the best? Oh! It blows my hair back. But uh, <laughs> the British guy was like, the humpback whale. Beautiful. Majestic. Endangered. And I was like, tell me more, Dumbledore, you know? Like, it was so good. So as he said, he says, during mating season, the male whale will call to the female. <laughs> Rough translation, eggplant emoji. Okay, again, some of you. All right, so that <laughs> just, all right. <laughs> there's, a, there's cell phones, right? Okay, on cell phones, there's text messaging, and on text messaging is emojis, and the eggplant means a, a dick. All right, so that's what that means. This lady's like, I give up. All right, <laughs> she's like, I got a flip phone. I don't, I don't deal with any of this stuff. I got an old rotary phone. Do you, do you just go, operator, yes, uh, yes. Uh, Chelsea, Theo, have, yes. You, have a, you, have a, you don't use a cell? Use a cell? That is the most Berkshire's thing I've ever heard. I refuse to use a cell phone. You're like the, I bet in the 1800s there was a person who's like, I refuse to use telegraphs. Give me the Pony Express. <laughs> Somebody in, like in the Mesozoo here was just like, I refuse to cave paint. <laughs> <laughs> I will not do it. I will not do it. Are you a Luddite? Do you just <laughs> Come on, your cell phones are fun. They're fun. You get into the apps. How do you stay in contact? How did you do this? Do you meet? You tell people to meet you at a, like a landmark? Are you mad? Like. <laughs> Meet me at the barn. Are you crazy? I tell you once that I'm gonna meet you someplace and you show up? What is the matter with you? You, know, you keep plans? This person, dude, happy birthday. All right, so, <laughs> that is insane to me. You, that's, <laughs> okay, I, well, I want you to be happy together. <laughs> like, talk to me later. All right, so, um, that is nuts, but that is fascinating. That is fascinating. I remember in the 90s, you'd have to hold, like if you were going to a concert, like if you went to, you know, Jacob's Pill or something like that, we're the ones with the balloons. Remember the balloons? You have balloons. You're like, we have the red balloons. That's us. Not the, not the mauve balloons, we're the red balloons, you know? Do you do that still? No. Okay, all right. What else do you do from the 90s? Like, live television? What else do you do? Do you binge watch TV? Okay, but like on Netflix? You just watch shit when it happens? Who are you? Do you have a DeLorean parked out front? What is going on? The, what? I know, yeah, like Jules Verne just firing that fucking thing up. That is fascinating. Dude, hold on to her. That's beautiful. Oh my God. Sitting by the phone, remember when you could twirl it around your finger and stuff like that, the cord? She taped Bigfoot. I, now, I love you. It's your birthday, you're just throwing out non sequiturs. You must be high. All right, is it, is it legal here in Mass? To, okay, well, that answers everything. You're just like, she taped Bigfoot. Oh, you taped a show, Bigfoot. Is that what you're saying? No, that's not it. You're the most interesting person in this goddamn room. You're the most interesting, anyone that doesn't use technology, I get, I get nervous if I don't have the most updated OS system. You're just, oh God, I love it. Wow, wow, okay. Do you send smoke signals, like anything like that? No? Telepathic, I like it, mental telepathy. The rest of you are just like, I'm not interested. Let me tell you something. That's interesting, that's really interesting. Okay, well God bless, all right. Um, and how long have you been married? How long are you married? Okay, cool. All right, sorry, that was, that was a can of worms. Not a big deal. But let me tell you about the whale and how it has sex. Right, so, so <laughs> here's the deal. So the male whale, yeah, it calls a female. Eggplant, emoji. The whale can swim over. He, he has the power to stick it in, he's stick it in, obviously. But he doesn't have the power to thrust. 
you believe that? Whales, they, their tails are amazing and powerful, but they don't have the power to thrust. They can't do locomotion. So they ha the, the, the humpback whale, which is a total misnomer, has to call another male whale like, Doo -doo! to come push his butt for him. And that, if you're following along, is your best friend in the whale pod, okay? Can you imagine if humans had to have sex like that? Oh my god, right? I'm gonna hook up with Becky. Jeff, I fucking need you, man. You gotta come down here, you gotta push my butt. Excuse me, I pushed your butt three times last week. You selfish son of a... No, don't hang up. Don't make me call my dad. You know, like, it would be crazy. That would be nuts. I lost you at the last end. But, uh, but <laughs> that means, I mean, we probably have apps for it, you know. We're, you know, we had, like, something called uh, Pusher, but with no E to be cool, right? You'd be swiping through pictures of people's forearms, like, ooh, look at that Popeye right there. Get down there, give me a little tush push. But, um... <laughs> That means anybody would have to have sex like that. Maybe our ex-president Obama, he's got a lot of time on his hands, you know. It's the weekend, you call up Joe Biden, like, hey, uh, Joe Biden, you gotta get down here and push my booty. <laughs> <laughs> yep, because the focus is gonna put it in the focus. <laughs> yep, uh, see, set, boy, they. <laughs> yes, we can. Face down, <laughs> ass up. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you get that. Some of you don't. That's okay. <laughs> Some of you are very pro Obama. You don't want to hear that. Right, so <laughs> they go high. Oh, look at you! All right, Jesus, you got fucking hoots. I'm glad we're recording this. I like that, buddy. Look at you. You go low. You go even lower, motherfucker. I like your dirty mind. Are you sure you're from the Bush? <laughs> this is so filthy, mountain man. I like it. But, I mean, okay, I'll be fair, our ex -pres or current president, you know, our current president, he needs love too, right? He'll be, if he, if he made love like that, oh God, he'd be in Mar-a-Lago, settling down for the night, and he'd be like, get in here, push my ass, Chris Christie, push my ass, I told you I would find you a job, Christopher, your loyalty on the campaign trail. <laughs> has been rewarded. Get your thumb in there like a goddamn bowling ball. That feels so good. A lot of people are talking about how good that feels. That feels so good. I'm gonna tweet. <laughs> I don't care if you voted, that's fucking funny. That's fucking funny. I did both. Our president is many things, but he is not boring. Season one has been fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen next. I have no idea. Oh my god. Speaking of the president, I was um, what I do. I you gotta you know it's a divided time. So what I do is I try to find the joy, right? So my favorite thing is when Trump tries to tweet things into law. That's my favorite thing, right? I'll go to Twitter. I'm like, what's gonna happen today? He'll be like, new law. Listen up. <laughs> New fucking law. All these kids that are five years old are now six years old. <laughs> I just love my impression. All right, so um, I'm just more in love with my impression than anything else. I just like it. I'll tell one more Trump joke and then we can open up our buttholes. All right, so here's the deal. I was in England and I went to this place uh, called Hadrian's Wall. You know Hadrian's Wall? Hadrian's Wall is this Thank you. Okay. What you know? Ever who the fuck? This crowd is the weirdest crowd I've ever. Uh, that's why I love the Berkshires. I fucking love it. That and the SoCo. It's the best. You don't know who you're gonna run into. Indiana Jones's girlfriend fucking runs a uh, goddamn yarn shop in town. <laughs> I was like, that's Indiana Jones's girlfriend right there. Yeah. My God, she has the amulet. My God, I'm your goddamn partner. All right, so. Karen Allen, okay, but, all right, so, anyway, you're looking at me like you're figuring out a fucking calculus problem, I was like, Karen Allen, okay, anyway, the point is, I was in, I was in England, with this place called Hadrian's Wall, Hadrian's Wall is this big old Roman wall, the Romans built to keep out foreigners, didn't work, right, so, the, the tour guide said that Trump had visited the wall four times, because his golf course is near there, and I was, like, I was like, man, I would love to have been there in that moment. And Trump was like, good God, look at this wall. So huge. 
so classy. It's Roman, so it's classy. <laughs> a lot of columns, a lot of columns, <laughs> right? And it works. It works. I'm standing here in bumblefuck England, and I don't see one Mexican. So, <laughs> what? A gr That's fucking funny. I don't care you voted. It's just funny. There's nothing to do with Trump. It's like, this is the weirdest day, and I love it. Are you guys okay? You're like an oil painting, sir, are you okay? Okay, good, good, I love it. You're just like, after it, you're gonna be like, that, that was very amusing. <laughs> I just picture him at the foot of my bed at 3 a.m. <laughs> just, like, just wanted to watch you pass through the night, that's all. You don't have much up here. It's very tranquil. You just disappear. Not to just vaporize. <laughs> just, what do you do, man? What do you do besides poetry and fucking hunt with your hawk? What do you do, huh? I am retired. <laughs> you're retired, you're goddamn right. What did you do? Uh, well, 23 years in the railroad and uh, 20 years in the hospital. I used to do computer work. Sure, man. <laughs> that was the Vegas. You're a fucking contract killer. You're a spy. <laughs> you can't even get your cover story right. Thank you for your service. I'm killing Russians out there. Look at this guy. Railroads, computers, <laughs> something. He was taking people out with a fucking long range rifle in Moscow. You're a goddamn American. Thank you, sir. So who's going to vote? We got to vote on Tuesday. Who's going to vote? Huh? Got to vote! We got to vote! Yeah, but they don't want us, but they, I don't think they want us to vote. They don't want us to, the government doesn't want us to vote. And here's why I know. <laughs> the, the voting, the election day is not a day off. You gotta go to work and you gotta vote, right? You get Columbus day off. All that fucking guy did was go to Cuba and call it India. <laughs> like, what the fuck? We can't get, you get Black Friday off. They're like, get, get out there and get a 4K television. It's ridiculous. That's new. That's a new joke, and it went pretty well. All right, so <laughs> I'm a, uh, I, it's, th thank you. It's, what, it's just like Twitter. It's just like, that's a good point. All right, um, I know, lady. I fucking, I know. All right, so I'm married. I, I, I got no sideways. I'm married. I am married to a white uh, person. Sorry, Jesus Christ. Uh, there's a lot of you in here. So uh, when you're married to a white person, I, just, I wish they would just tell you how much apple picking is involved. Um, you know what? You know what? That's racist. I'm sorry. Some of you pick apples. This is what she told me to say. Some of you pick apples. Some of you pick berries. But you all know when shit is in season. You all fucking do. I've had so many apricots slapped out of my hands. Not in season! <laughs> You're very serious about the seasons. I thought we were going to go apple, apple picking one time, you know? No, it's one time a week for the whole fall every year. I was like, oh my God. Oh, would she, would she, we were dating, third date. She goes, you want to go apple picking with me? And I was like, um, I, I'm, I'm black. We've picked everything we're going to pick. But, um, <laughs> too soon, too soon. It's funny to me, so you, should, you can fucking laugh, right? So, so we go, you ever go apple picking? You ever go? Okay, I didn't want to, you know, I, I didn't want to be like, yeah, well, I'm not, I don't stereotype. I'm not going to be like, look at this, you know she been apple picking. Look at this apple picking motherfucker. <laughs> it's a good time, right? It's a good time. I did it. I got in touch with my roots. It was really fun. Because I'm from the city, as you can tell, I'm a bit of an indoor child. And uh, I go out there. I've never been to where they make uh, food. And uh, so, so I go out there. And in the first row, I'm frolicking, I'm, I'm taking Instagram pictures, I'm like, la -da -da. and in the second row, my bag's getting heavy. Third row, bag's getting super heavy, sun's at its highest point, my ancestors just came the fuck out of me. I drop the bag and I go, oh lord. <laughs> <laughs> then it started and I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> Fuji Macintosh. Yeah, look, it's okay to laugh at this. This is a very funny joke, sir. You're laughing? This is you laughing? I hate to see you orgasming. Jesus Christ, man. Just fucking let it go. This is a great bit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I love 
this town. This is so fun. How do I, how do I leave you? This is good. Drink more wine. What is this, Game of Thrones? More wine! Okay, hang on a second. Interracially married. Love it. She's great. A couple things we can't do together. She wants to, she want to do running. She wants to run with me. My, my wife's, like, she was, a, she was an all-American sprinter in college. She, she's faster than me. So I was like, she's like, babe, we gotta go running together. Put a couple of runs together, so nice. I was like, if we ran together, you'd be faster than me, it'd look like I was chasing you. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> That'd be great. The cops would just be like, yeah, we got a black guy chasing a white woman out here. They're in matchy, matchy, boo boo women outfits. <laughs> this has been so fun. You guys had a good time tonight? Yeah. My name's Jordan Carlos. Guys, get home safe, okay? Good night. <laughs>